Michael with StreamingChurch.tv and I have an update for you if you have not seen it yet. Uh, the Facebook Live producer has been updated. Uh, it, as you begin the process, it will look a little different, but remember, always first make sure you're changing from here to a page that you manage. Go to that page. There we are, Church Up Live. And now I'm going to be publishing to that page. Uh, and since I'm practicing on this, I am going to turn it on a test broadcast because uh, I don't want the public to see it. Only page, page managers would see a test broadcast. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose in the context of how it works, uh, but it will change uh, who can see it. Uh, you can make it just people that follow your page, uh, or you want to build a community or broader audience, etc. Uh, choose which one or whichever one of those makes sense for your organization. Then it's going to walk you through the steps. Uh, we're we're more than likely using streaming software. Um, then choose next. It's going to give you you need a title and a description. You'll need to add those, and then next, under Stream Setup, here is your key, but you want to open Advanced Settings, and make sure your Persistent Stream Key is turned on if you don't want to have to get a new key every Sunday. Uh, copy the URL, and like always, go back to your StreamingChurch.tv admin page, adding the key and the URL uh, before you go live. Now, I don't have a live event going here, but if I did streaming it already, you would see the live preview here. And it won't allow me to uh, do a test if I haven't put in a title or a description and don't have a feed coming in. But you've already done that before, you know how that works. Now there's a few more things that I want to highlight for you. Uh, the dashboard is, you can customize this so that on your dashboard uh, you can see comments here, you can see the live stream here, you can see real-time insights, and you have some other tools. You can do live polls during the event, and as I said, quite a few new tools. Look around here and spend a little bit of time so that you know uh, everything that's available to, for you. Settings, your stream settings, you can change some settings there if you need to. Uh, viewer settings, you can make changes there. You can make changes on comments. And now this one I would suggest everyone do. This will allow you to add a tab to your Facebook page that is specifically for your live streaming events. That way, your folks that follow your page or folks that find your page will always see that live tab there. And if you're live, it will, it will say live and uh, give them the ability. You can share it here, but it'll also be on your page. Now, interactivity is another Big tool, as I said, uh, you can create a poll, uh, you can create questions, uh, you can add uh, graphics in real time, and prompts. Uh, again, something that you flash on screen that you want people to click, you want people to do. This gives you a little more power here in order to do a little bit more. And like before, distribution, you can also share if your church page has a group, you can share to that page's group uh, by choosing here, find the group, etc. So a lot of new tools. I encourage you to uh, look around, uh, do some testing, uh, make sure everything works. If you have an a, a issue, if you have a problem and something doesn't work, please, please, please go and uh, give feedback and ask for help. 
we need to notify Facebook when their stuff is broken. And sometimes, especially when they move to new platforms, things don't work perfectly and things, things are broken. I've already had a report from the weekend, someone having a little bit of issue uh, with getting the stream to work. Uh, so let me know. Give us a heads up. Call us. Talk to us. But make sure to report it because we can't fix Facebook. We can help you <laughs> up to that point. But uh, that's where Facebook's going to have to take over and uh, manage their platform well. So this has been Mike with StreamyChurch.tv, and that is the new live producer on Facebook.